Well, the Australian and International Pilots Association has taken the extraordinary step of calling for Qantas chairman Richard Goida to step down, saying morale at the airline is at an all-time low. Our political reporter Tom Lowry joins us now from Parliament House. Tom, g'day again. What's the association saying? Yeah, it's really building pressure, I suppose, on the chair of Qantas, Richard Goida, to take some action, potentially step down from his position over really a string of incidents that have affected Qantas over the past few months. But the most significant of them, of course, is a High Court decision about two weeks ago that found Qantas illegally sacked 1,700 ground crew. Now, the pilots' union has written to the new CEO of Qantas, Vanessa Hudson, saying it has totally lost confidence in Richard Goida and his board. It's it's raised the question, if, if Qantas does need a cultural reset, is Richard Goida the best person to be leading the company through that process? And it's also questioned a recent pay rise that was handed to him too. Now, Richard Goida has been on the Qantas board since 2017. Uh, he's been the chair since 2018. He's got some other significant roles too. He's the chair of Woodside Energy and the AFL Commission as well. So he is quite an experienced director. But this is a significant intervention from the Pilots Association because it's the first time this pilot's body has made a call like this around a Qantas board member. Uh, government frontbencher Bill Shorten was questioned about these calls today and appeared to back in the union. Here's a bit of what he had to say. Qantas took a matter of the High Court and they were found out to have illegally sacked their workforce. I don't know what makes a board or a chairperson resign these days. Neil, I mean, you can illegally sack 1,700 workers. I don't know. Well, what does it take to resign in this country? Bill Shorten there earlier this morning. And, Tom, we've also, of course, got the inquiry into the government's Qatar Airways decision continuing today in Brisbane. Yeah, this is an ongoing inquiry run by the Senate looking at that decision by the federal government to block Qatar Airways' bid to fly dozens of additional flights into major capital cities in Australia. There's been so many questions raised about that decision, particularly the impact on airline prices for Australia, the price of airfares. Uh, this inquiry has been going on for a week or two. This is uh, the second major hearing. It's going to hear from a few different bodies. One is Turkish Airways, who currently have a similar bid in with the Australian Australian government to fly in additional flights. Brisbane Airport is also going to be giving evidence, the Transport Workers Union and the Productivity Commission as well. One of the big questions is whether this inquiry is going to hear from Qatar Airways. We expect that will be the case. We just don't have a date for that as yet. The other big question is, will Qantas appear before the inquiry? Uh, here's the chair of that committee, Bridget McKenzie, speaking on this earlier this morning. The program for tomorrow hasn't been formally adopted by the committee, but I can confirm that the Qantas uh, chair and CEO were invited and have not refused. So um, read that what you will, but I can't preempt the decision of the committee itself. It would be interesting to see Qantas front up to that committee. They gave evidence to a separate cost of living inquiry only a few weeks ago. But given the current pressure around the chair, Richard Goida, uh, that could be quite an interesting hearing should it take place. Yes, Tom, thank you.